Good morning. One slope for dedicated for you. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Rashmai Shri Guru Venama, Rashmai Shri Guru Venama. Happy Teacher's Day. Thank you. Thank you very much. All my blessings, not only to you, to all my students all over the world. Thank yeah. you very much for such a thoughtful beginning of Teacher's Day. Thank you very yes. much. What else? How is life? How is things? So I, I saw your text. <coughs> all fine. So you just, mm -hmm. hi, hello. I thought uh -huh. you, you know, you wanted to say something. <clears throat> no, no, I just am asking you how's your health because uh, okay. you're not, you not feeling well. So I you wanted to cancel. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. No, yeah. I'm fine. I'm I'm doing well. I have many uh, pills and medicines. Okay. And okay. So let's begin. So what is this Teacher's Day all about? Uh, this day is celebrated because of our... Uh, or may honorable president uh, like uh, Dr. Saropalli Radhakrishnan. Uh, this is the birthday of uh, Sir Dr. Saropalli Radhakrishnan. Sarve yeah. Palli Radhakrishnan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when did all this started? Which year? Any idea when this teacher, the first teacher's day, how it started? I think this day, this uh, teacher's day has started. Uh, in 1962. Yes, 1962. Yes. Yeah. So how it started? Any idea? The story behind uh, that? A very simple story. Uh, his uh, students, a few students uh, asked him for, to celebrate his birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, so he, uh, however, he told that uh, uh, means uh, this day uh, means dedicated uh, for the teacher. And from now, they, uh, that means teachers, they have started celebrating as our teachers. So day. September 5th is the birthday of Dr. Sarve Pali Radhakrishnan. And some of the students, they approached him and they wanted him to join them in a party, in a celebration. Yes. So he said, let's celebrate this as the uh, dedicated day for all the teachers all over yes. the world. Yes. So it is like you know, in hundred uh, more than 100 countries i think they celebrated but uh, not september 5th most of the countries they celebrated on october 5th mm. there is one country they don't celebrate teachers day mm -hmm. you know that country mm, us no japan japan mm -hmm. they don't have a teachers day celebration why because they say we celebrated 365 days. Mm -hmm. okay. Teachers are the most important person, even most uh, or revered, respected than the parents. Yes. So we don't need a special day for our teachers. For us, every day is teacher's day. Mm -hmm. Right? And okay. other countries like US, UK, European countries, African countries, more than 100 countries, they celebrate teacher's day on October 5th. 5th October, okay. Right. Any other teachers coming to your mind? Other than Sarve? Sarve Pili, no, he is a doctorate holder. He studied in Oxford University. He studied in American universities. He taught in American universities, Indian universities. He is an outstanding, he's not a politician. He's an outstanding mm -hmm. teacher. Outstanding teacher. Mm -hmm. So, uh, any other teachers coming to your mind? Uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam? Abdul Kalam. Yeah, one of the best teachers. He is known as a teacher, not as the president of India. Of course, he was the president of India, but mm. he is the missile man of India. Missile man of India. We would love to be, know him or call him as, uh, rather than calling him as the president of India or a former president of India, we can say. Okay. The best teacher, best professor or the missile man. So I use the word former president. Hmm. 
सो और फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर और यू कैन से एक्स प्राइम मिनिस्टर व्हाट्स द डिफरेंस फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर मींस और फॉर्मर प्रेसिडेंट मींस मींस दैट प्रेसिडेंट वाज अर्लियर मनमोहन सिंह कांग्रेस मनमोहन सिंह वाज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया बिफोर मोदी बिफोर मोदी ओके सो मनमोहन सिंह वाज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर देन मोदी केम सो वी कॉल मनमोहन सिंह एज द ex prime minister uh -huh. just before the current prime minister okay this now modi came just before modi who was who is our ex prime minister we can say manmohan singh was the ex prime minister at that time mm -hmm. but if you want to talk about uh, jawaharlal nehru mm -hmm. you cannot say ex prime minister ex is only given to the immediate predecessor इमीडिएट प्रेडिसन जिसकी जस्ट पहले कौन था उसको एक्स बोलते हैं लेकिन प्राइम मिनिस्टर जवाहरलाल नेहरू इज दी फॉर्मर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया दो तीन प्राइम मिनिस्टर अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी था इंदिरा गांधी था राजीव गांधी था सो इसके भी पहले गुलसार लाल नंदा था ओके यू नो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिमेम्बर देर इज सम गुड थिंग इंग्लिश who ruled yes. india who yes. ruled india right english right down e n g l i s h english yes so first india was ruled by english people e for english mm. okay yes then india was ruled by nehru nehru n then after nehru for a small period india was ruled by gulsarilal nanda gulsarilal nanda e n g okay after that after gulsarilal nanda india was ruled by lal bahadur shastri hmm l e n g l after l it was indira gandhi i e n g l i okay Up mm -hmm. to that is correct. This came long, long ago. Then mm -hmm. S after Indira Gandhi. It was Rajiv Gandhi. It was Rajiv mm -hmm. Gandhi. So in yeah. between, in between Indira Gandhi and Rajiv Gandhi, India was unofficially, unofficially ruled by Sanjay Gandhi, mm -hmm. the other younger brother of Rajiv Gandhi, yeah. Yeah. and he was killed in a flight crash. Mm -hmm. that's why so if you want to remember the names of the prime minister you think english mm -hmm. english e for english people ruled india then nehru g for gulsar lal nanda l for lal bahadur shastri i for indira gandhi and after that it is not mm -hmm. so this is difference between x and form yeah. former minister former minister means oh kabhi ek din minister tha लाइक आवर एक्स एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स मिनिस्टर और एक्स फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर मीन्स अभी फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर कौन है निर्मला सीतारामन इसके पहले कोई था तो उसका नाम बोलते हैं एक्स और इसके पहले मनमोहन सिंह फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर था तो आवर ही इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट और और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट ए पी जे अब्दुल कलाम देन यू कैन से Former, former president, president. Of, yeah right okay yes. i need your help yes big help tomorrow i have a group discussion okay with the students from all over india mm -hmm. students from all over india there will be 10 15 students one hour group discussion yes okay so the topic the topic is should the use of mobile phones by students be allowed in educational institutions 
या स्कूल्स कॉलेजेस में स्कूल्स में स्पेशली स्कूल्स में मोबाइल फोन का इस्तेमाल करना सही है या गलत है वॉट आर द प्रोज एंड कॉन्स ऑफ यूसिंग मोबाइल फोन इन एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन वॉट मशर्स द मैनेजमेंट कैन पुट इन प्लेस टू अवॉइड द मिस यूज ऑफ इंटरनेट ये थीम के बारे में वी हैव टू डिस्कस वी हैव टू डिस्कस अबाउट दिस थ्री टुमारो इन इवनिंग ग्रुप डिस्कशन एंड देर विल बी ईच स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम ईच स्टेट ओके वन स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम एवरी स्टेट लाइक फ्रॉम केरला तमिलनाडु कर्नाटक राजस्थान एवरी स्टेट लाइक ना फ्रॉम सिक्सटीन स्टेट्स वी हैव टू डिस्कस सो व्हाट्स योर ओपिनियन व्हाट डू यू थिंक इट शुड बी बैंड or they should be allowed to use in mobile phone or what are what are the advantages of using phones in schools what are the disadvantages can you use can you allow them to use in a limited for a limited time limited duration but they will say oh sometime they will misuse they will watch uh, some real movies youtube this yes. and that some adult content yes. so it will be misuse So yeah. what is your opinion on all these three today i am taking voice rest yes 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 teachers <laughs> uh, teachers day privilege <laughs> yes yes okay uh, according to me uh, mobiles uh, should not be allowed in school mostly in school uh, mm. maybe we can allow uh, mobile for in college but in school time we should never allowed uh, mobile for uh, children because uh, uh, as uh, uh, yes for few students maybe uh, it will be helpful uh, because suppose uh, if uh, both the parents means both um, uh, parents are working so at that time uh, means for only some information or some uh, only for some um, information which, uh, means students to teachers are allowed few students uh, but for every student there is no need to allow mobile in school uh, so you you mean you mean to you mean to say you can you can allow that to uh, some particular students partial few students because maybe that students will be very limited like uh, um, few 10 or many minimum 10 or 20 students and if that is very necessary and parents request him that time uh, we can uh, means, uh, allow mobile for them only as for uh, children uh, come from far away places mm-hmm. and their uh, parents are working that time uh, but uh, uh, if, if we allow mobile and that will be the means uh, the monitored by teachers also okay so what are the advantages of using mobile phones advantage uh, means if we give mobile in children's hand in school time so what they will do first mm-hmm. yes they can learn in so uh, or uh, they can learn some uh, means uh, subjects curriculum Watching related by, syllabus by, related articles syllabus or lessons articles. soft co- soft copies will be there they can read soft they copies. can they can do- download contents from the internet and they can read they can use mm-hmm. chat gpt ai you know they can have many uses yes. okay yes w- one more advantage using mobile phones as i told like suppose uh, their parents are working so it is helpful Uh, they can uh, means uh, <coughs> they can take uh, means uh, they can call them and uh, get information about their children the problem and, is problem is sir so if you use it hmm? well and good if you use it in the proper way a razor blade razor blade we can use it for shaving hmm. you can use it to cut something to cut a paper no problem but sometimes people use it to slit their throat slit someone else's throat 
to kill somebody a small razor blade yes then it becomes a big concern misuse yes. of that item <coughs> so if the student is using it in a appropriate manner for their studies only but you cannot control them they because it, that's the age 13 yeah. 14 a teenager cannot be controlled you cannot put the checks and balances uh, any time every day once you give it's like a, it's like you are giving a bomb to a terrorist they can use it they can misuse it and most of the time it's misuse happening and a teacher one teacher can't monitor all the students at a time sorry oh, i uh, miss there are uh, there are more disadvantages uh, advantages are very less <laughs> as uh, we can just uh, uh, search our syllabus and can re- uh, learn i asked this uh, question to i asked this question to one girl okay mm-hmm. she said sir i agree we or the students most of the students they misuse the phone no mm-hmm. they spend a lot of time there's a lot of distractions from their studies no mm-hmm. they cannot focus they cannot pay attention even in the class they will be always scrolling the phone mm-hmm. they want to see what is message they post something in the facial facebook they post something in the instagram and they're waiting for the comments they are waiting counting mm-hmm. the the likes and dislikes and that will hamper their study they will yeah. they will be totally distracted from their studies yeah but if there are checks if there are controls if there are close monitoring of their usage then there could be something moreover moreover see we can have some extra classes we will have to always stay in the school they we have to stay back in the schools after normal school hours or yeah. sometime we have to travel from our hostel to home or we have to yeah. travel from school to our home so there could be delay there could be you know, sometime there is a, a, a showdown or there's a band or there's no uh, transport system everything is stopped some strikes by the drivers or some karavo some road for some protest from the people so we could be trapped we could be delayed in such case this will be the best gadgets so which we can contact our parents Yes. So, so we should not be deprived of that. But I told them, I told them. Of course, that's a very, very hundred percent, absolutely valid point to keep in touch with the parents to avoid many, many happenings. You can avoid molestation, rape, and everything. You can avoid, mm-hmm. you no, know, because they don't have any voice. They can't call anybody. Sometimes their parents, their teachers, they ask them not to use mobile. Said, yes. Okay, the valid point. I totally agree with you, but yes. you can use a dumb phone. You can use the basic phone. You basic. can use the voice phone. If you yes. want to give a phone to Shreya, give a dumb phone where she yes. can only call. Yes. No internet, no texting, no Facebook, no YouTube, yes. no Insta, nothing. Why you want that? so if you are having a counter question like this see if anything happened if anything untoward happened if anything unwanted happens to our life in our day how to contact our parents okay take this dabba phone and you just call mm-hmm. why you want internet or mm-hmm. if our teachers can guarantee that it will not be misused how it can be done in your opinion no, it's not possible how- <clears throat> how can you use stop the misuse yes it is possible it is possible like suppose you take the phone mm-hmm. the phone and uh, suppose the college guys or college management is giving you internet free internet they can put firewalls they can mm-hmm. control no youtube will be allowed mm-hmm. there are softwares so okay. you can you can stop watching youtube they can selectively say okay only these sites are allowed any mm. other google search or youtube search or insta facebook nothing will be allowed they can you can fix software mm. you can fix fire walls you can put anti virus software 
So all these will and and in spite of all, notwithstanding all these checks, even some students are smart. If they are doing something, then teachers can check randomly check their Google search or YouTube search history. It will be in the cache. It will be in the search history. So teachers mm -hmm. can talk to their parents, delete that search history, and they can enhance the security system of the internet settings. In the settings, you can go and do, okay, you cannot, okay, even timings, you can set. This phone is allowed to search or watch something for more, not more than two hours. After that, it will be automatically disconnected. Or you can selectively set only these type of contents are allowed. Any adult contents cannot be allowed. checked or searched or will not be allowed. Mm. So, so you use technology for this. Use technology to make to make it a safer place for the children. People will not be distracted. They will not be. There will not be any tantalizing concepts or uh, sites which people will be, you know, always looking for. You see that mm -hmm. because this is the age. Yeah. It can be allowed once you go to the college. Once you are in the college, because you are seventeen or eighteen years old, you have. You are an individual. You have. You are an independent person. You have the vote. You have the right to vote. Mm -hmm. You know. That time you cannot say that don't use me. But when you are in the school 15, 16, 17, under 17, you should not be allowed. Yeah. Because it's it's going to completely devastate that student, completely destroy that student. Yeah. Like if you have any enemies in your neighborhood, in your relative, mm -hmm. they are not very friendly with you. Okay, you want mm. to destroy that family. Okay, two things mm. you can do. We, we, <laughs> we joke, it's a joke. Uh -huh. Give a gift, say a smartphone as a gift to their children. That, that it's done. That boy or the girl will be totally destroyed. destroyed. Or give them a video game. <laughs> <laughs> give them a gift video game. Gift them with a video game. Mm. The boy will be always on the video game. If you want to take a revenge with any family, give <laughs> the smartphone or a video game to their children. <coughs> right? Yeah. So that's it. So thank you for your valuable insights. So tomorrow uh, evening, 7 o'clock is the session. So I'm trying to talk to get the opinion so I can use that opinion poll in my real life.